A reading from the log of the dread ship fisher men according to red handed Luke. <laughs> the captain, haunted by the ghostly parrot, returned from Shipbuilder's Bay and led by the parrot, rowed a lifeboat to Dead Man's Atoll, a miserable, rocky outcrop set amongst treacherous waters with only seagulls, shipwrecks, and the tormenting whispers of the restless dead for company. It were here that for forty days he stared down the challenge of the scourge. He ate nothing at all during those days, so when they were over, he were proper famished and sinking ripe as an octopus's armpit. It were by the light of the full moon the scourge arrived, his ghost ship of the damned gliding slightly across the waves, with its ragged sails unmoving in the wind. The scourge stared his cold gaze at the cap'n from his eyeless skull and pointed his fleshless finger in accusation. If ye truly are the son of the deep, said the scourge, command this salt water to become rum. <laughs> Bugger that, said the captain. Rum is for Sharon. And there's now here to share with, but you're a ghoulish arse. <laughs> then the scourge scried upon a rock pool in the moonlight and showed the captain in an instant all the might and wealth of the armada and every naval power that sails. To ye, I will give ye these ships and slaves and all this firepower, for it has been given over to me, and I give it to any ones I please. If ye then will worship me, ye will rule the seas. The captain spat. The deep cannot be ruled. It makes drowned men of the proud and driftwood of their ships. You dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> then the scourge took him to a raging whirlpool, where the water had such terrible power to pull down the stoutest ship or mightiest whale to the abyss. If ye are the son of the deep, take a paddle in this here maelstrom. For the old songs say, the deep sends mermaids to the chosen, and on their salty bosoms they will bear ye and kiss sweet air into your lungs. The captain laughed. Now that's just bloody stupid. <laughs> you know so much about the deep, why don't you dive in and show me how it's done? And with that, the captain kicked the scourge off the rocks into the raging whirlpool. Curse ye, screamed the scourge. I'll be back for ye. Aye, said the captain, join the bloody queue. <laughs> that be the story as you were written. Close enough for me.